Good day, Dink Muse. Yes, this is Benny and not Katie for once. I finally infiltrated the group from the inside and I have taken over just for a tiny bit though. I'm here to present my five tips when I design my builds. First of all, tip number one, know your style, purpose and inspiration. Before you start designing, it's best to know a rough idea on your preferred style of design. Do you like symmetry, geometry, working with numbers and shapes, angles and dimensions? Or do you plan and organize resources to a certain level? Do you find satisfaction when it all lines up and is centered? Or is your preferred choice more natural and more fluid, going with the flow and improvising on the spot? Or do you find satisfaction in terraforming the land around you to look more natural? Whatever it is, you're most likely to use both at some point. Ask yourself why. Constantly ask yourself why. What is the purpose of this build? Why am I doing this? Do I prioritize functionality or aesthetics? Or can I use both into my build? Is this area going to be used and visited frequently? Or will it just be aesthetically pleasing? Do I want it to be beautiful, elegant, gary, funny, or practical? What will its purpose be? And lastly, for tip number one, is inspiration. Inspiration comes from everywhere and anywhere. It can come from real life, other games you play, the Dinkum Discord community, or your favorite content creators. Shameless plug. The world is your pearl. You just have to be willing to take it. Tip number two, color. Whether it's contrasting, analogous or neutral colors, they all contribute a huge part in designing. Use contrasting colors, colors that are opposite from each other. On the color wheel, you have your red with your green, blue with your orange, purple with your yellow to make things pop. Use analogous colors, colors that are neighbors on the color wheel, blue with your green, yellow with your orange, and purple with your red to create a sense of harmony into the design. Neutral colors like gray, beige, or in this case, cement, are best used to complement and enhance the chosen color. Best use if desired to create a focal point. Tip number three. Lighting. In a given space, lighting is important. Why is that? Because it sets the tone, the mood, and it allows you to see in the dark, obviously. In Dinkum, as well as in real life, we have a day and night cycle. Do not ignore your Dinkum nightlife as you can create some amazing and beautiful builds that's illuminated at night. Take into consideration cool or warm lights. For example, next time you visit your favorite restaurant, Pay attention to the lights I use at the front and the back of house. There will be mostly warm lights where you dine and cool lights in the kitchen. Why is that? Warm light emits a cozy, warm ambiance, whereas cool light makes you more alert and awake. Because, you know, it's really important the chefs know what they're cutting. Tip number four, fences. There are many great fences already available in Dinkum. But who's stopping you from mixing and matching a few to really level up your design skills? Play around with different combos. Think outside the box and really, really have fun with it. Sometimes you don't have to use just fences to make a fence. Be spontaneous with it. And last but not least, tip number five. Have fun. Have fun with the process. The most important thing when designing. A huge part of designing is trial and error. Seeing what you like, what you don't like, taking things out and putting things in. Designing for me is a journey you take and the challenges you solve along the way in order to get to that final desired outcome. It will all come together in the end. At the end of the day, you must be satisfied and love what you've created. If you're still not satisfied, here's a bit of advice from me. Work on something else. Have a few projects on the go and you can hop on from one project to the next if you ever feel like you're feeling burnt out just to avoid that creative block. Basically, have fun with it. All right then, have fun, GG and dink em on. 
Okay, I suck at goodbyes. Bye.